Hey guys, what's up? It's Rygar the Destroyer, and today we're going to be taking a look at Han Solo and Tauntaun from the Collector series. Um, this is a 1-6 scale um, figure set, and it is really awesome. I'll go ahead and start off by giving a, uh, like I said, like a size um, here with Han Solo riding it here. Stands at um, just under 18 inches tall, so it's got a ton of size, and the Tauntaun itself is about 20 inches long, so... This is a huge uh, figure set and very impressive um, for anyone's collection, really. It's, it's really amazing. Um, as you can see here, uh, I just want to talk about this first. Um, there is an Expo marker stuck underneath the Tauntaun here, and that is just to kind of make sure that he doesn't fall over. Um, it can stand up with Han riding it, um, but just because of the design um, of the character and the design of the figure, it does have some problems. So obviously Han is not centered over the legs like you would want it to be to make sure that it would stand all the time. He's placed forward, which means that it's always wanting to sort of fall forward. Um, and this problem isn't really helped by the fact that the hips are not the tightest joint in the world. Um, I wish they were ratcheted or, or something um, to kind of keep them, you know, locked in place. Um, it's not a huge deal, obviously. You can put like just a clear rod or something there. Um, you, I've also had some success with placing some things underneath the tips of the toes, like a coaster or something, um, and that just makes it lean back just enough to keep it upright. Um, both of those things work, so um, it's not a huge problem, it just is something that I want to mention. You know, you don't want your figure taking a massive shelf dive or anything. Um, but anyway, let's go ahead and get into the figure review itself. Um, just like always when I review these huge figures, just bear with me, because um, it does take a long time to sort of get everything set up in frame. And then here is the box. Um, it's absolutely huge. I can't even fit it in frame. Um, and it's, for the most part, fairly plain. It's got Han Solo and Tauntaun written down here, the bottom. Um, the, you know, it's just a screen grab of uh, Hoth in the background. On the side, it's got a picture of Han and the Tauntaun from the movie. And it, I'm pretty sure it has that on both sides. Yes, it does. And then on the back here, um, a remarkably plain, uh, you know, back of the box here. It's just got, again, Hoth. None of the other figures that were released in the wave or anything, just a, a description. And if you'd like to read that, go ahead and just pause the uh, video. But anyway, so like I said, huge box, but for the most part, fairly plain. Uh, so let's go ahead and get back into the figure review itself. I'll go ahead and start off with Han Solo here and his accessories. So Han, let me get his legs all straightened out here. Sorry, guys. Um, Han here stands at about 12 and a half inches tall, and that's just because he's wearing, you know, the hat and he's got, you know, all the, the huge clothing on and everything. Um, and honestly, this guy is uh, really, really well done. It definitely gives um, Sideshow and Hot Toys a run for their money. Um, as far as 1-6 scale figures go, I think the uniform itself um, looks absolutely amazing. Uh, maybe the coat like the parka, um, it has a little bit too much fur, um, but personally I'm fine with it, it looks fine to me. Um, so definitely for the price point that, that, that this figure can be purchased at, it, um, it should make you kind of question if you want to drop the money on the Sideshow um, Hoth uh, Han Solo. So just kind of think about that before you um, invest in one of those. And as far as accessories go, uh, he's got a ton of them. The first one is this little sensor here that he uses, if it'll focus, there we go. Um, really nice detail on this, all these pieces on the top are soft so that they're not gonna just instantly break off. He also comes with his blaster, of course, and if it'll focus, there we go. Pretty nice detail. Um, it's got decent paint work, I guess just the tip is painted silver, so that's really well done there. And then he also comes with a set of micro binoculars. It's got a little ribbon here um, to put around the neck, or I like to mount this on the actual um, Tauntaun. Really nice detail there. And this figure, or this accessory in particular, I want to mention um, because it, ha it has 
um, what a lot of older figures are starting to get and that's um, mineral leaching it means it's a little sticky um, because the um, plastic itself is starting to sort of break down um, so it's not a huge deal um, but just something to keep in mind it happened to some of the other accessories the gun a little bit and his hat um, a lot of times it happens to more rubbery pieces in the hat um, is definitely um, more rubbery um, and it is also removable so we'll go ahead and talk about that and it does have a set of removable goggles on there I'm just gonna leave them where they are because I like the way that looks but they are removable and then we'll go ahead and take a look at Hans likeness here let me take this plastic bit off I didn't realize that was under there anyway um, the likeness is not perfect um, but it's also not bad either um, you know, it's got all of his hair sculpted and everything, and it has a, uh, you know, removable helmet, so it has to fit that as well. So I think that they did a good job, um, you know, sculpting um, his face there. As far as articulation goes, um, it's, you know, it's decent. This is an older figure, so he's got a swivel in the neck. He's got ball hinge shoulders, which are limited by the outfit a little bit just because it's so bulky. There is a hinge in the elbow, and it does also swivel there. He's got ball hinge wrists, and they do swivel as well. On this side, he's got a trigger finger, and on this side, it's just a generic um, gripping hand. He doesn't have any waist or chest articulation. Um, he's got T-jointed hips, which are nice because they allow him to actually sit on the tauntaun, and they've got great range of motion in every direction. Um, he's got hinged knees, and then... Uh, I believe underneath the boot there's a hinge in the foot, but you're not ever going to be able to use it just because the rubber on the shoe is so thick. So definitely a well done figure here, um, and you could remove the belt if, or the belt and holster if you wanted to. Um, mine just sort of popped off by itself there, um, but not a huge deal. So this figure is definitely well done. Um, the costume and everything is well done, so definitely a cool figure. There is a single um, release of this figure as well. Actually, it's been released a ton of times. Um, but anyway, really nice figure. Now on to the Tauntaun itself. And this thing is um, really amazing. So let me go ahead and give you a, a height measurement here. As he's posed, he's about 13 and a half inches tall, so he's about the same height as Han Solo. Um, and it's got some really nice sculpted detail all over it. All of the fur looks nice huge feet which are nice for letting you know helping it to stand up it's got these soft vinyl pieces um, for the stirrups and those are on both sides so you can actually get Han's feet in these and then for the reins they again are soft rubber and they've got a little pop piece in the center here I guess if you wanted to take this off you probably could it looks like it just slips I can get it in frame here slips out of the mouth there if you wanted to take it out it would leave a kind of an ugly hole though um, as far as articulation goes he's got a swivel at the base of the head I can get it in frame here sorry this guy is so huge it's hard to review um, it's swivel at the base of the head here swivel in his little uh, t-rex arms and then a swivel in the hips and like I mentioned before these are not as tight as I would want them to be I wish there was maybe like a ratchet or something um, but there isn't, so, you know, I just have to learn to live with it, I guess. Um, but overall, you know, definitely really cool. The sculpt work for the head is really well done. Again, it's hard to get this in all in frame, but really well done. And this isn't the only pack that, that um, the Tauntaun was released in. Um, there's a pack that comes with uh, Luke Skywalker um, in the Tauntaun. Um, so there's two different ways to get um, what I believe is the same figure. Um, and uh, it definitely gives uh, Sideshow a run for their money. Um, <clears throat> I bought this figure for 30 US dollars on Amazon and it was used, but it had never been taken out of the box, uh, meaning like somebody opened it, took it out to sort of look at it, but never released it from the package. Um, so definitely a good price for this figure. Um, and for the price, I don't have any complaints for sure. Um, so I definitely recommend the ta not only the Tauntaun, but also the Han Solo figure. If you could find him in a single release, um, he would also be good, um, good to track down there. So if you have any comments or questions, please leave them down in the comments section below. And I guess I'll see you later.